I, uh, third time I've done this review, so uh, I'm a little annoyed, but I'll try not to make that come through in the uh, in the review itself. But uh, today, Tuesday, on the Real DVD Watchers, I'm going to be reviewing the 2011 film, English film, may I add, uh, written and directed by Ben Palmer, carried straight on from the TV show series three, basically. It is the Inbetweeners movie. Uh, this, like I say, carries straight on from series three, uh, the kids have just finished, well, the lads have just finished uh, sixth form college and uh, to celebrate and before they, a couple of them go off to university they want to go on a uh, the first holiday abroad without the parents basically. So they go to Malia in Greece uh, for sex, fun, uh, women's, drink, booze, minge as they'd say. Bloody, you know what I mean, Just they just want to go and have like, just get mental and mashed up and everything. So, uh, You've got, uh, obviously, the characters. You've got Will, who's posh, and uh, the briefcase wanker, as they call him in this TV show, and he just wants to go and uh, look at the ruins and whatever in Greece. You've got Simon, who's just split with Carly at home, and he just wants to get over and get a new girlfriend and whatever. And you've got Jay and Neil, who just want to go out drinking and uh, find some uh, gash, as they'd call it. Uh, but, yeah, so, so they go abroad, and uh, when they get to... Uh, Greece is too hot for them all, and they uh, they're not very happy. And the, the apartment is absolutely shocking. Uh, but they go out in the town and they just want to have a good time. And uh, they kind of meet the girl equivalent of the in between. Is there's four girls who uh, who meet up with them. They're not the most popular girls, uh, but they're good looking. They're not bad looking, uh, and they're not like uh, the nerdiest of the nerds who. Uh, so they're likely in between us really, and uh, the four girls like kind of pick a lad that they fancy each, and they all like just kind of hit it off really, and uh, that leads to one great scene where they go back to the girls' hotel. They've got like it's a nicer hotel than the than the lads' apartments, and they uh, there's like the lads just remove the uh, towels off the sunbeds, and uh, just just go around them around the pool that have been reserved, and that causes an argument and there's a little Greek lad who takes a uh, shining to Jay to wind him up and he actually pushes Jay in the pool which causes Jay to push him back in the pool and uh, nearly drown the kid who's about 10 <laughs> and uh, but it is a really gut busting film it's, it's so so funny uh, I think the, some of the people in the cinema weren't very happy with me I was laughing that much but hey pay your money it's a comedy film why not uh, screw them guys but yeah, it, it's very, very good. Uh, and the bad thing for Simon, uh, Carly, who obviously has been madly in love with throughout the whole three series, if you've ever watched it. Uh, spoiler alert, sorry about that one. But uh, he's, she is actually at the same like kind of resort as them, which uh, is a bit awkward for them all. But uh, yeah, she's played by uh, Anthony Stewart's heads daughter which is she is Anthony Stewart Head's daughter in life which is quite uh, quite awesome and he is actually in the film as well plays Will's dad in this but he's only in at the start so you've got to love your Buffy alumni so anyway yeah it's it's just a really really good uh, comedy film I think it's it does pay good homage to the three uh, series of the TV TV show if you enjoyed the TV show I'm sure you'll absolutely love this it does it justice I was reading somewhere on some of the interviews with the actors that there won't be any more a fourth season or like a second movie, but uh, this movie's done quite well in the UK box office. Uh, I think it's out. Uh, I think it's budget outgrown its budget, so that's even better for them. So they've got a bit of motive to do a second film if they ever wanted to. But yeah, even if you haven't seen the TV show, I highly recommend watching this, checking this out. I think you could just enjoy it for what it is, a great gut busting comedy. So yeah, this is Tuesday and I've just done my review, so back again next week. What more to say?